Today I'm going to show you how I made a cheap diffuser for my oils um, so I can diffuse them more cheaply. Um, I bought a diffuser, glass diffuser bottle online, or actually at a store. I think it was $100 at like a Whole Foods type place, and my kids knocked it and bumped the top that directs the oils out. <clears throat> and then after a while, the pump was not very strong, so I ended up buying a fish pump <clears throat> for a fish tank that would turn up and down and be higher or lower. It works. You can hear it's got you know, some diffuser coming out and during most of the year that's not a big deal. That's actually just fine for our house. So I just have that on the counter and diffuse it as I go. Um, I usually buy the bulk oils um, from Now Company if I'm going to diffuse. If I'm going to put it on somebody, I'll go with a, um, some different companies, different products that I like that are a little bit more pure organic and they're marked organic. Um, but if I'm just going to diffuse it, um, I will just buy the cheaper ones, like this peppermint oil for this large bottle was, you know, $13. So, um, several people I know had these and they broke, and so, or they get clogged because the oils get a little bit thicker if they've been sitting, or some oils are just thicker, and you have to water them down with a thinner oil, like it's a orange or a peppermint oil. So what I did is I looked for some used nebulizers, um, pulmonary nebulizers um, at, at garage sales or uh, secondhand stores. This one was $5 at a secondhand store. There's lots of different brands. Um, I paid up to $15 for one and if you look on your local classified ads you'll find several on there. They're all over the place for that cheap. And then what I did is I got some oxygen tubing. Um, the, lots of times at secondhand stores or uh, estate sales they'll have just um, oxygen tubing new in the, bo the bag that they didn't use. So what I'll do is I'll put the oxygen tubing on, I'll cut the nose cannula off or the oxygen mask off, and I'll take a glass dropper tip and I'll stick it on the oxygen tubing, and then I'll pour some oils, whatever mixture I want, in a bottle. And then when I'm going to diffuse it, I'll put a few drops of that. It has to be, you know, enough to cover the bottom of the bottle. And then I just stick the glass thing. It has to be a large bottle or the strength of the air will pop, make it bubble out. And you want to be careful that you don't put it on a wood surface because the oils will eat, eat away the finish on your wood surface. So anyway, you can hear, if I turn it on, actually I'm going to put it in here so you can actually see what it does. You can see that right now there's nothing bubbling in there. But if I turn the nebulizer on, you're not going to be able to hear me, but I'll, I'll show you how much it diffuses. And you might be able to see there's a fine mist that actually comes out the top. So you can cleanse your whole house if somebody's <clears throat> sick or got a cough or sneezing. You can just take this from room to room on, say, like a cookie sheet or something, carry it around, put it in that room for about 10 minutes, and move it around every, you know, set an alarm. Clean your whole house out in an hour or two. So watch this. So you can hear how much it's bubbling out, and you, um, eventually you can see like a white stream coming out of it as it um, nebulizes it into the air. And I can already smell it. It's pretty strong. Anyway, um, there's lots of different blends and oils, um, and you can go to my blog, thesecretisgratitude.com, and see some of the different things that we use and how I mix them, and different bug sprays to keep the bugs out of the house, uh, mosquitoes, repellent, that kind of thing, um, and how we use it for teething, things like that.